course looks rather deserted. Mm. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here. Slytherin, right here. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. Okay. We'll Let's see. see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. Oh, you know what? I've gotten better. I've gotten better since the last time we actually raced, so we'll see how this goes. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Right there. Uh, there we go. Okay. Might as well go ahead and pop that. We got it. We got it. We got it. Come on. Stay on course. Stay on course. Excellent. There we go. There we go. Okay. Keep going along. Still going. There we go. Woo. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Come on. We got it. We got it. Go ahead and get that bubble right that balloon. Okay. Okay. Go up. Another one right there. Oh, under the bridge. Alright. Come on. There we go. Okay, haven't missed one yet. Of course I missed those bubbles, but I don't think it's necessary for them. I think I could definitely do better. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Competitiveness runs in your family? Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puzzlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Dang. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running the course? Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. Yeah, absolutely.
I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. Chaser through and through? Alright, I can respect that. Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. Holy head harpies. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Oh boy. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. <laughs> Not bad for a Gryffindor. Not bad for a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself. Of course, you too. You keep flying. Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks. How's my favorite test flyer? How you doing? Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully. There's only been two upgrades. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. All right, cool. Couldn't have done this without you. Of course. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Am I ready to put an end to him? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Vicar that Archie and Mrs. Vicar mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Raby. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Okay, uh, where can I find them? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Okay. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Hopefully. But don't move too freely because, you know, you're, you're still a student. Alright. So we are. Oh, what was that? What was that? Yeah, must have been nothing. Okay, anyway. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Hmm. Oh, Iska, what have I done? Daisy Rabe. Mrs. Rabe. I wonder if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts. A Gringotts? My is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Okay. 
Uh, why would they take your husband, not you? Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? This coast job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Okay. Have you have given Harlow any information about have regards? You Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Okay. Uh, let me ask this, Chester. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. Trampled the daisies? But those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Grows daisies buried a girl named Daisy. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. It's too late. Where were we? Mrs. Rabe. We do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us, if you understand our meeting. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. I hope it's not too late. I hope so either. Find Mr. Bickles up to so your friends. There he is. Tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Cravat? Yes, what? I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Yes. Mm. All right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. Of course, of course. Hill. He was kind with me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. Okay. He a note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill. Mr. Hill's from daughter. From Rosie Hill. Hill. We've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. Huh? I haven't told Mr. Hill yet. What? He has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you what? to do? It all happened so quickly. There's so much blackmail. He took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping. Creative but bookkeeping. I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Okay, about the note. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, RH. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Okay. How are you hiding the extortion? What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Creative bookkeeping. Because none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man, but when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and 
Rosie as well. Okay, well then. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Of course. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hey guys, it's Knight here. I'm just here to say, hey, if you liked anything that you saw in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if there's a game that you want me to try out, don't be afraid to just write it down in the comments. I'll be love to see what y'all suggest. And one last thing, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything that comes out. All right, peace out.